Bonnie Montgomery. Behind me are spectacular examples of suits of armor worn by the dueling knights of the 13th and 14th centuries. Behind the armor, some outstanding handcrafted stained glass. In front of me is the table where Baron von Richthofen took his meals as a boy in the family castle. You can almost smell the authentic German fare served at this table. But of course, treasures such as these and true German cuisine can only be found in Germany, right? Not so. A taste of German history and a sampling of some of the finest German cuisine anywhere can be found right here at Milwaukee's own Mater's Restaurant. Join us for Menus Around Milwaukee. Menus Around Milwaukee is sponsored by Star 95, Milwaukee's favorite oldies. Good morning and welcome to Menus Around Milwaukee, where each week we'll be getting a behind-the-scenes look at Milwaukee's finest restaurants and master chefs. I'm Bonnie Montgomery. Today we're joining you from Mater's here on Old World 3rd Street in downtown Milwaukee. It's the oldest family-run restaurant in our city. Serving fine German cuisine has been a Mater family tradition since 1902. That's quite a history. Let's meet the owner, Victor Mater. Victor, thanks for inviting us here today. Now, I understand that Mater's has all kinds of new stuff going on, so why don't you tell us what's happening? Okay, Bonnie, we've added a new private party room. Uh, we've expanded our gift gallery twice in the last few years. We have a new restaurant manager, Dan Hazard. We have two top new men assisting our chef in the kitchen. Both re uh, came with us recently. We have a new art gallery, which we added about a month ago. We've completely remodeled every dining room here at Mater's within the last two years. Uh, we have dozens of new appetizers, soups, salads, signature items, desserts. We have a new award-winning wine list. We have added and expanded our well-known Sunday Viennese Champagne brunch. We have, uh, in fact, Milwaukee Magazine called our brunch the best brunch value in the city. We have added a heart-healthy menu, and Milwaukee Magazine called our Bavarian Sauerbrot the best heart-healthy item in the city. We have expanded and added a new beverage list, a new beer compendium, and we now have 92 members on our staff. We've added about 20 to 30 people in the last two years. Well, that's a lot of new stuff going on, but I want to mention that although you've made these changes, Mater still hasn't lost its old world charm. And I think one of the things that adds to that is the history that you have in here, all kinds of wonderful pieces. Why don't you tell us about some of the things that we can see? Well, we have uh, a collection of medieval antiques, suits of armor, weapons, two-handed swords, halberds, maces, morning stars, original oil paintings, stained glass, etc., dating back to as, as the 13th century, literally. That seems amazing to me when I come in here and see pieces like what we have right behind us, that these are authentic works of armor and, and well, the, military. Well, the, the pieces behind us, uh, one of them was done in the 16th century and, and worn by Baron von Grausheim, and the other one was actually used in 1499, so it was actually made by Kunz Lochner in Nuremberg around the time that this country was being discovered, 1492. Hmm. Everything in here is authentic. Speaking of barons, why don't you tell us what we're sitting at right here? Well, we purchased this table, Bonnie, in 1951. This was actually the Red Baron's table of Snoopy and the Red Baron fame. Uh, who He sat at this table during his life while he was a youth dining. This was in the Baron von Richthofen Castle in Germany, was all carved by hand in around 1840 to 1850. All the chairs are done in leather and beautifully hand carved with lion's heads, etc. This is a very popular dining spot. It's kind of the centerpiece of the front of the restaurant and a lot of parties, uh, groups of 10, 12, 14, ask for this table. That's great. Now you serve your Sunday brunch on here too. We serve right? our Sunday Viennese brunch here, yes. Oh. What, what is this room called that we're in right now? This room is called Nights, and it was primarily built as a bar room by us around a year ago, and it's dedicated really to the legend and romance of that era, uh, 14th, 15th century, suits of armor up here in front, a lot of morning stars, halberds, two-handed swords, etc., mm -hmm. along the walls. 
Well, I wanted to point out, too, that you do have a lovely bar here, and, and people can come and taste some of these beers. Now, I wanted to tell us about the, the uh, beer compendium. I hadn't heard about this before, and it sounds like it's pretty fun and a challenge. This is a challenge. 219 beers, and if you complete all 219, you get your name etched on our wall in brass, as we call it, our historic bar here, uh, etched in brass. Further, you get a complimentary $150 value Peter Stein, and of course, we note that your name will be spoken here in hushed ah, tones forever. Wonderful. You'll become extremely revered. Uh, very few people have ever completed this list. I think two or three. Sounds like a challenge, and you had a whole and list of all the different kinds of beers. Of course, you can have as long as you like, obviously. Ah, that's a good idea. Well, Victor, thanks for talking to us this morning. Okay. And I think it's time that we should take a look at some of the items that you can see here at Mater's. So we'll look at some of the food after this. We're back with menus around Milwaukee. I have fork in hand. This is my favorite part. I'm going to introduce you now to Chef Gary Shenick, or I guess the folks call you Big Bubba. You call me Big Bubba. Big Bubba, kitchen. okay. I don't know why I'm not that big. <laughs> Let's find out about some of these wonderful dishes that you have here. I'm going to taste while you tell me about them. What about this one? Well, this is a, uh, uh, one of our famous schnitzel mm. from uh, 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 Vienna, Austria. It's called the schnitzel Esterhasi. Mm -hmm. What's this sauce? A, this mm. is made with a sour cream mm -hmm. and... Uh, Secret spices. I must Secret, say. Secret spices. spices okay. Only. Now I consider this to be a German dish. Is it? This is Austrian. Austrian. This Austrian. is uh, an, an Austrian dish. Okay. Originated in Austria. This is wonderful. And and what are these? Uh, Those are uh, fresh vegetables uh, which we serve every day: zucchini, mm. red peppers, carrots. Okay. Nothing canned or frozen. That's good to know. And <laughs> this is lovely. What is this? Well, now this is a, uh, a dish which. Uh, uh, we might call a French, a typical French dish. It's called a duck chambord. Duck chambord. Chambord means uh, uh, basically raspberry mm. mm -hmm. with wild rice. Does it come to the table like this on the on a plate like this? Uh, it will be presented like this in the smaller version. Oh, I see. But it is served uh, uh, as you see it. Okay, a wonderful not, presentation. Not that big though, of course. Looks beautiful. What is this? And this is our famous German red cabbage mm -hmm. with apples, fresh apples. Okay, so we have some French and some German. A little German on there, yeah. Okay, yeah. so I guess considering Mater's a German restaurant would be incorrect. We uh, would call ourselves a continental, continental. restaurant rather than a German restaurant. I yeah. see, very yeah. good. Right. Okay, now how did you do this sauce? This really is good. Well, mm. this, uh, this sauce is made with a, a very expensive imported liqueur, which is called a Chambord, mm, which, is, uh, which is imported from France, and it, it is a raspberry liqueur. Mm, wonderful. And from there on, we make a we base our sauce on it with fresh uh, raspberries. Uh -huh. And this is? And this is uh, wild rice, uh -huh. genuine wild rice. Mm, wonderful. Great. Which is uh, made with uh, bacon and pecan has in it. Yeah, I thought there was something mm -hmm. interesting to it. Don't you wish you were here right now? I'll try to tell you exactly <laughs> how this is tasting. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, this is pretty. I like this. Now this, we is have. A, uh, <coughs> uh, this is a seafood dish uh, which uh, originated in, in Italy. Mm. It is called a sole florentine. Mm, wonderful. It is a fresh, fresh filly of sole served over a bit of spinach with uh, freshly chopped tomatoes sauteed in butter. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I mentioned, since we are a continental restaurant rather than a German restaurant, we try to feature a, uh, a dish mm -hmm. from each uh, country in, uh, in Europe. And this is sole, you said? This is uh, Icelandic filet of sole, flown mm -hmm. in fresh daily. Oh, obviously no bones, I suppose. No bones, yeah. no. Great. Tell us about this sauce. It's really interesting. This it tastes kind of buttery, creamy. Well, this is uh, basically a hollandaise sauce. Mm, uh, I see. It's made uh, from eggs and butter. Great. Nice, oh. uh, nice and high in cholesterol. <laughs> now, do you come up with the design for each of these dishes? Because they really are beautiful. We, uh, we do this about once a year to have different garnishes. Mm -hmm. And then we just try to serve it this, uh, uh, this way every time a customer orders it. So we don't deviate from the original mm -hmm. uh, recipe. I see. We just keep it that way. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit about your background and how you learned how to do all of this? Well, we're talking about 32 years ago. And uh, I was born and raised in, uh, in Germany. And uh, as is customary in Germany, you must, uh, you must learn a profession in Germany. Hmm. It has to be, it is mandatory that you go to trade school. And it is also mandatory that you uh, have your apprenticeship in, uh, in a hotel or a fine restaurant. Otherwise, you cannot go into this profession. Mm -hmm. uh, after three years of schooling, you get a certificate which is uh, signed by the state and you must make an exam, almost like a, like a lawyer or doctor, although uh, I don't make that much money. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and that's basically it. Uh, 
Uh -huh. And then how did you get to Mater's from there? Uh, well, I worked in uh, different places around the city of Milwaukee. I worked in New York and mm -hmm. in New Jersey. And uh, it just so happened I, w I wanted to better myself about 15 years ago. And uh, I found this ad in the paper. And I didn't know it was Mater's. And uh, I called up and Mr. Mater gave me the job right away when he found out I was born and raised in Germany. Uh -huh. I learned my trade in Germany. So. Great. And how long have you been here then? It's almost 15 years now. Great. Yeah. Well, let's see some of this expertise in action. You're going to make a salad for us, I guess, that is um, a specialty of Mater's, isn't it? Yeah, this is a, uh, uh, a salad which you probably will not find around the city or even the state or anywhere else. Mm -hmm. uh, we offer this salad, we simply call it a German salad, which is exactly what it is. It is a variety of radishes, red cabbage, shredded carrots, white radishes, beets, cucumbers, potato salad, and it is marinated in a marinade of, uh, well, here I go, I can give my recipes away. <laughs> <laughs> it is basically a sweet sour dressing. Okay, we're going to move this over here so that everybody yeah. can see oh, you in no action problem. here. Okay. And, uh, we offer this salad as a, uh, as a substitute to a regular uh, iceberg, mm -hmm. iceberg salad you get, uh, you get offered any place else you go in case the customer doesn't want that. So we you can have this at no extra cost. We can have this before we have one of these other lovely dishes. Oh, you can have all you want. Okay. And I just arrange this real fast. This is, I had this all marinated beforehand, naturally. Uh -huh. A little potato salad in the middle. Then we put a little iceberg lettuce, which is this. I forgot to mention that. A little shredded carrots, which is all marinated. How long do you marinate? Those are white radishes. Uh, 24 hours hmm. is good, so the marinade gets uh, grabbed this here. And we put some uh, spiced cucumbers on here. That's all marinated. A little red cabbage. If we were making this at home, what, what would you say we should keep in mind when we're thinking about what to put on our salad plate? Uh, the colors or the different well, the, flavors? Well, you know, the color coordination, like I'm doing right now, for instance, you've noticed I did not put those green cucumbers next to the green, uh, to the mm -hmm. green lettuce. That's uh, basically what you have to, Those red radishes next to the, uh, next to the carrots. Mm -hmm. So you try to uh, try to do it this way, except that just goof, but that's all right. <laughs> so not go next to the cabbage, we'll do it anyway. And then this is basically your standard German salad, which you will receive Wonderful. with your meal instead of the customary uh, iceberg lettuce with your customary radishes and shredded, you know, like the stuff you get any place you go. Mm -hmm. And this is at no extra cost to the customer. And this is, this is about it. Yeah. That's great. Well, I'm going to have to try this. You say you marinate these different things. This is potato salad in the middle. Mm -hmm. Usually uh, you put a little potato salad in there. Mm -hmm. And typically German. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. this, is a typical, this is a typical German salad. Mm -hmm. Great. So what would you say is your favorite thing to prepare here at Mater's? My favorite thing at Mater's? Uh, this uh, has to be the Dutch Schaumburg. Mm -hmm. That we this saw This has caught on. We just put this on the menu about uh, uh, less than two years ago. Mm. We didn't have that before. Mm -hmm. And we came up with this recipe, and uh, this is a big, big seller. Mm -hmm. This is basically my favorite. I and like that. does the menu at Mater's stay pretty much the same month to month? Or the menu stays uh, basically the same for one year. Mm. And then we try. Uh, Mr. Mater, sometimes he goes to Europe, and he... Uh, he scouts different restaurants in Germany and Austria and Switzerland, and uh, he looks over some recipes and brings them over to me, mm -hmm. and then we uh, we take it from there. So uh, maybe once a year we uh, the basic menu is the same, the basic German German uh -huh. fare such as pork shanks and sauerbraten and Hungarian goulash, but specialty items such as these we try to change about once a year, have uh -huh. something. Uh, something different. Great. Well, Big Bubba, thank you so much for showing <laughs> us all of this, and I think I'm going to dig in a little bit more you go here. Right ahead. Okay. Enjoy. Well, I, hey, we talked a little bit about desserts. That's obviously how we top everything off. So when we come back, we're going to take a look at some desserts and some wines. That's coming up on Menus Around Milwaukee. <laughs> And now on Menus Around Milwaukee, I'd like to introduce you to Dan. He's the general manager of Mater's. He's going to be telling us about wine and dessert and a little bit more about the restaurant. Thanks for being here, Dan. Thank you, Bonnie. Good morning. I've selected several wines off of our wine list this morning. Um, I'd like to take a little bit of the fear out of wines that many consumers may experience. We feel our wine list offers a selection of wines that could satisfy any palate 
and also complement any entree, dessert, or appetizer. Great. Let me start with Mater's Strawberry Champagne. This is an imported German champagne. It is served on our Sunday's Viennese brunch. Mm, sounds good. This next wine is a German wine. It's a Peace Porter Gold Traption Riesling Cabernet. It's a very light, fruity, very drinkable wine. I'd like to recommend this, this wine with a pork or a veal dish. Mm. This next wine is one of the more outstanding wines that has come out of California. It's a Wente Brothers Chardonnay. It is also a light wine, but it's also a medium dry wine, uh, very flavorful. This is a Beringer Cabernet Sauvignon. Mm, that one I recognize. I know I've seen that before. This is a full body, red, very tasty wine, uh, mm -hmm. preferably drank with uh, a meat dish. This is uh, from Bordeaux. Bordeaux probably produces the finest quality wines for the smallest region in the world. Mm. Uh, this is a Chateau Lafitte Rothschild. Uh, very excellent Bordeaux. As you open it, would have a full-bodied bouquet that you may be able to smell from five or ten feet away. Wow, sounds it has good. A, it has a taste that lingers in the back of your throat after you finish drinking it. This is a wine exclusive to Mater's. This is Mater's Koenig's wine, which translated means wine of kings. Hmm. It has edible gold flecks in it, and it's perfect for any special occasion. Let's take a look at this. It's hard to believe, Dan, that this is real gold and we can actually drink this, but it's okay for us. Oh, yes, yes, well, ma'am. I'll be darned. Huh? Yeah. Looks very festive. And is this available at all times of the year? This wine's available at any time. It's a very popular Christmas gift for many of the people who come in and purchase it. Well, I think the next thing that we have to do after the wine, obviously, is take a look at desserts. Now, if anybody knows me, they know this is my favorite part of the meal. Sweet Tooth Extraordinaire. So, why don't you tell us about these? Oh, okay, I suppose we'll start with uh, our homemade strudel. Strudel is available in both apple or cherry. Um, it's made with all fresh ingredients. It has a flaky crust and confectioner's powdered sugar. And it would be served warm to you. Oh, wonderful. Uh, perfect for a cold night. <laughs> Very delicious. Okay. This is a Viennese soccer tort. It's a semi-sweet chocolate cake with a uh, dark chocolate frosting. I can smell this one. <laughs> it smells great. Very this is pretty. This is a macaroon tort. It has apricot and raspberries, and it also has a walnut layer on the outside. Mm -hmm. This is a Bavarian chocolate tort. This is a chocolate layer cake with a rich chocolate frosting and chocolate shavings on top. Finally. This is the fabled Black Forest tort. Um, it's a chocolate cake with vanilla layers, and it has cherries on the top and also throughout the cake. All right, I'll take one of each. But first, let me ask you, um, what are the hours of Mater's? When can we come and? Mater's is open 365 days a year. We open for lunch at 11.30 and serve until 11.30 on Tuesday through Saturday evenings. On Monday, we're open from 11.30 till 9. And on Sunday, we start a little earlier. We're open at 10.30 for our brunch, and we're open until 9 also on Sunday. And do you have a facility for private parties? We have the Baron's Rheinstube, we call oh. it. It has seating capacity up to 110 persons, uh, perfect for any private function you might have in mind. Now, I understand Mater's has received several awards. Why don't you go through those for us? In 1989, Mater's has received three awards that we're especially proud of. For the 15th straight year, we won the Holiday Fine Dining Award. Also, the Sales and Marketing Magazine has ranked Mater's within the top 25 restaurants of the country nationally. This poll was taken by literally thousands of business executives. Great. That's something we can be proud of then in Milwaukee to have such a fine restaurant. Yeah, and there were some other ones too? There's also the Entertainment Publications Award we, we won last year. Um, we were voted locally by over 22,000 people who voted, having the finest ethnic restaurant locally and also for the most favorite desserts locally. The most favorite desserts. Okay, well, like I said, I'll have to try one of these, one of each, just to find out what my favorite is. Is there a uh, one of these desserts that's more popular than another? I would say the apple strudel is uh, our most popular seller. Okay, so when we come, we can make sure that we don't miss that, I guess. And the, uh, tell us again what that kind of wine was with the gold flecks. The Koenig's wine. Koenig's wine, okay. And thanks a lot for going through those wines. I think that it's true that a lot of times when we come in and we find a, a long wine list that it's difficult to know what to choose. So. We'd be more than happy to help you select the wine perfect for your occasion. Well, great. And where do we call for reservations? 271-3377. Great. Thanks, Dan, for being here and enlightening us. And now let's take a look at some restaurants around Milwaukee. 
With that, we're out of time for this week's show. Join us next week when we'll be coming to you from Silver Spring Country Club's La Par Restaurant. I'm Bonnie Montgomery. See you next Sunday on Menus Around Milwaukee. Menus Around Milwaukee is made possible by these fine restaurants.